My Lords, I very much agree with what the noble Lord, Lord Mitchell, has just said. Uh, we have to be very careful. I mean, to set out to criminalise, as he says, a very large proportion of our population is something we should do carefully, uh, particularly when it involves not putting them in the hands of the, of the criminal law uh, with all the safeguards and care and rationality that, that involves, but putting them in the hands of firms of solicitors who are out to make a buck out of the process. And none of these people are nice to deal with, uh, even where the, the majors have been involved in prosecutions, and there aren't many cases of that, they are relentless. Uh, it is not at all nice to be on the receiving end of one of, the, of, of their prosecutions. They can take a long time, they can cost a great deal of money, uh, and they will go on with uh, unspecified content consequences for a period of years. Uh, it is not, we are not putting, it is not like a parking fine. It is not some simple, reasonable, but reasonably painful uh, financial consequence for wrongdoing. Uh, this is putting people into the civil justice system with civil levels of proof. Uh, and that is something which we should be very careful about doing and about the circumstances in which we do it. I've looked at, I mean, one of the firms that has been uh, involved in this and who have been kind enough to write to me is ACS Law. Uh, their technique is to send out letters uh, complaining that they had, saying that they have evidence that uh, um, a breach of copyright has been committed and demanding a few hundred pounds in recompense. Now, the difficulty is that the evidence that they have of this has been provided by usually a, a company abroad who does not disclose the methods by which this evidence has been obtained, uh, which may well have been obtained against data protection laws. Uh, that's certainly the conclusion that the Swiss and the French authorities seem to have reached, uh, and which is in any way totally impenetrable. So you receive one of these things saying, saying you've done wrong in your own money. And how on earth do you disprove it? You have no means of showing this company, without spending a great deal of time and money, that you don't owe them what they say you owe them. And yet, and, and I think most of their income comes from people who just pay. I'm not aware that there have been many court cases at the end of this uh, because of the, the element of bluff in this. Now, this seems to me to be a disreputable thing to wish upon our citizens, and that we should be very careful that in this bill we are not creating, we are not going to multiply what is going on at the moment. And indeed, if we can, I think we ought to, to seek to, to avoid it. We ought to produce some, something which is civilized, which is aimed, as indeed many elements of clause, the first bit of clauses 4 to 17 is aimed, at education and persuasion. Uh, and where, at the end of the day, there is due process and reasonableness in the consequences for our citizens. So I, I have a great deal of sympathy for, for this amendment. Uh, I would, though, say that it sh perhaps it shouldn't be the right to prosecute which we should try and remove, but the right to obtain information about who has been doing wrong. In other words, the right to the users' names and addresses. Uh, that we sh they shouldn't be able to, that, that the that, that no, since that process is so much wound up in what the government is proposing, perhaps we ought to make that something which is exclusive, that in order to obtain that, they have to go through, the, the copyright owners have to go through the processes in this bill. Uh, it is a difficult, it's going to be very difficult to get this balancing act right, and I don't pretend that I have uh, an instant answer to it, but I do think, coming back to what the noble Lord Mitchell said, we should be very careful of what we are doing to our citizens because these are not nice people to fall foul of and the methods which they use to extract money are not nice and I'm not just meaning at the fringe operators. Uh, that applies very, it, it applies really to dealing with a, a difficult to refute allegation in the civil justice system uh, and uh, what the noble Lord, Lord Russell proposes in the amendment uh, seems to me to have a pretty good basis.